I'm Joe Jansen, agricultural economist at the University of Illinois. This is a five minute farm doc on post-harvest grain marketing. In this video, I ask, how much does grain marketing strategy vary across Illinois grain farms? I use data on inventories and production from farm docs educational partners at the Illinois Farm Business Farm Management Association, FBFM, to quantify the distribution of marketing activity. Like fingerprints and snowflakes, no two farms are exactly alike. So it is with post-harvest grain sales decisions. After harvest, farmers face an important choice, whether to sell now or store in anticipation of higher prices later in the marketing year. In a previous video, I showed that waiting is common. Around 60% of corn and soybeans produced in Illinois remain unmarketed at the end of the calendar year, producing a significant price risk management challenge for farmers. While we don't have detailed records on grain marketing sales, forward contracts, or deliveries at the farm level, FBFM data do tell us the quantity of grain farms hold on their books as inventory as of December 31st each year. These book inventories are correlated with the proportion of the crop the farmer has sold. Analysis of book inventories shows aggregate measures of grain marketing activity mask considerable variation among farms in addressing the sell or store decision. Together, Illinois FBFM farms hold about 80% of production as book inventories on December 31st. However, individual farms vary widely from this aggregate level. To demonstrate, I show the distribution of farms by their book inventory as a share of annual production. This distribution looks similar for both corn and soybeans. There's a prominent spike at 100%, showing that about 40% of farms hold essentially all of their production and inventory at the end of the calendar year. There's a small group, about 5%, that hold even more grain in inventory. Remaining farms hold some level between 0 and 95%. In this less than everything stored group, higher levels are more common, but there are some farms that have essentially moved the entire crop by the end of the calendar year. The distribution shows post-harvest grain marketing is an important activity for most farms. For some, it's the major way in which grain gets sold. The distribution of book inventories of grain does not vary much across crops or over time. I also ask whether individual farms tend to market the same way year after year. I consider how a farm's book inventories this year relates to what the farm does next year by calculating probabilities of transition from different categories for farms in the distribution of book inventories. There's a tendency for farms to maintain similar inventory levels over time, particularly in that very high inventory category. The probability of farms holding the same inventory level next year is notably strong for those with approximately 100% of production in inventory. 63% of those farms do the exact same thing the following year. While all farms are different, my analysis points to a rough dichotomy between a set of farms I call store and ignore, those that consistently maintain large inventories after harvest, retaining significant price risk, and market responsive farms who actively adjust storage and marketing activity based on market signals. I find that inventory holding decisions by those market responsive farms are much more strongly correlated with market signals to store grain like futures calendar spreads. Placing significant emphasis on post-harvest marketing, as in the store and ignore strategy, does appear to pose significant price risk for farms. Future articles in this series will delve into economic benefits and costs of post-harvest grain marketing and storage, shedding light on the reason for the varied marketing behavior observed across farms. For more information and a link to the article on which this analysis is based, check the description below. I'm Joe Jansen from the FarmDoc team at the University of Illinois, and this has been a 5-Minute FarmDoc.